the step back in those times a few hundred years ago was a dangerous place. And even today, if you go further into the step, not completely un, uh, unpeopled anymore now, of course, but even among the factory towns and mining towns that dot the region now, you still see uh, uh, solitary grave mounds rising in the field, a uh, testament to the burial of some of warrior prince from past centuries or uh, to a battle fought on the site. Um, when I started researching the history of my instrument, the bandura, I found a real treasure of historical songs and epic songs that went back to this time. And I was uh, fortunate uh, to uh, still encounter uh, one um, elderly man in Kiev uh, who uh, had learned some of that repertoire on an instrument just like this one, which had been um, so he'd learned, and I learned from him one of these songs uh, about the steppe warriors, about the death of a warrior in the steppe. On a grave mound in the field, there a warrior lies unburied, with his head on a clod of earth and a horsewhip at his feet and a piece of red china silk cloth to cover his hands. Um, I learned it from him. He'd learned it from his teacher, a blind uh, singer in the epic tradition in the 1920s. The teacher had learned it from his teacher, and so on and so forth back through the centuries. And here's that song today.
Козак там 